Have you ever wondered what really happens when a piece of foil touches electricity? Maybe you've heard it can explode, spark, or even start a fire. But is that just internet hype, or is there some science behind it? Today we're diving into what actually happens when foil meets electricity. The answer might surprise you. And yes, we're going to break it down in a way that's both safe and understandable. No lab coat needed right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. Aluminum foil is a thin sheet made of, you guessed it, aluminum. It's flexible, shiny, and super common in households, but it's also a metal, and metals conduct electricity. That's where things get interesting. Most people assume foil is harmless because it's so thin and used for everyday things like wrapping food. But when it meets electricity, especially high voltage or current, it becomes a whole different story. To understand the reaction, we first need to talk briefly about how electricity works. When you plug something into an outlet, electrical current flows through a circuit, kind of like water in a pipe. If the flow is interrupted or redirected suddenly, say by an unexpected material like foil, it can cause some chaotic results. There are two main types of electrical current, AC, which is alternating current like the one in your home outlets, and DC, direct current like in batteries. Both can be dangerous when interacting with metal but AC is especially notorious for causing rapid, unpredictable reactions when it encounters a conductor like foil. Now, one of the most famous examples of foil and electricity going wrong is putting foil in a microwave. But here's the twist. The microwave doesn't technically use electricity in the way an outlet does. It uses electromagnetic radiation to heat food. Still, Foil in this environment causes electric arcs, tiny bolts of lightning inside your microwave. Why? Because foil reflects microwaves, the energy gets trapped and starts building up electrical charges on the surface. If the foil is crumpled or has sharp edges, the energy concentrates in those tiny points and discharges as a spark. It looks dramatic and it can actually damage your appliance. But what happens when foil meets raw electricity? Like from a wall socket or a battery pack? Let's break it down. If you connect a strip of foil between two terminals of a high voltage battery, you're essentially forcing electricity to pass through it. And since aluminum is a great conductor, it doesn't resist that flow much. But because foil is so thin, it can't handle the heat generated by the current. Within seconds, or even milliseconds, foil can start to glow, melt, or catch fire. In extreme cases, it vaporizes. You'll see bright flashes and hear a buzzing or popping sound. That's the aluminum overheating, the atoms breaking apart, and in some cases, plasma being formed. Plasma is the same thing you see in lightning bolts. That's how powerful even a simple strip of foil can become under the right conditions. This is where things get risky. If someone accidentally bridges a circuit with foil, say, sticking foil into a power outlet, it can cause a short circuit. That means electricity takes a shortcut, bypassing the safe path it's supposed to follow. This can overload the system, trip breakers, start fires, or even damage entire electrical networks. Foil doesn't just carry electricity, it amplifies danger if not handled correctly. That's why many schools and safety programs warn kids not to experiment with foil and outlets. It's not just a spark, it could be a fire hazard or worse. Believe it or not, how you shape the foil can change what happens dramatically. Flat sheets are more stable, but when foil is crumpled, twisted, or has pointed edges, it increases the risk of arcing. 
That's because sharp points concentrate electric fields, and when the voltage is high enough, it causes electrons to jump, creating that visible spark. So if you ever wondered why crumpled foil is more dangerous in a microwave or circuit than a flat sheet, that's why. The electricity doesn't just travel, it gets aggressive at the points where the energy piles up. Despite all this chaos, foil and electricity can also work together in smart ways. For example, aluminum foil is used in electronics for shielding sensitive equipment from electromagnetic interference. In certain DIY projects, people use foil to create circuits or makeshift connections. Even commercial capacitors sometimes use aluminum foil because it's lightweight, conductive, and cheap. So yes, it can be dangerous, but in the right hands and environments, foil is an extremely useful part of the electrical world. If you're thinking of experimenting, here's a word of caution. Don't try this at home. Most household power systems are not designed to handle uncontrolled experiments. Even a simple mistake, like putting foil in an outlet or overloading a battery circuit can lead to electrical fires or injury. That said, watching high-speed footage of foil vaporizing from electricity is definitely fascinating, but it's best left to professionals or controlled environments where safety measures are in place. So what happens when foil meets electricity? The short answer, a lot. What looks like a simple kitchen item becomes a conduit for some of the most powerful and dangerous forces in our homes. The combination of aluminum's high conductivity and foil's fragile structure makes it a dramatic player in electrical experiments, but also a dangerous one when misused. The next time you grab a sheet of foil, maybe to wrap your sandwich or line a baking tray, remember, it's more than just kitchenware. It's a thin layer of science just waiting to react. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.